video rolling and action. Hate up fools. Big T and I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to persuade you guys that maybe feeling like there's not a whole lot as far as big new games coming to Switch, at least so far. There are games out there that maybe you might have missed in lieu of uh, the Wii U ports. And uh, here's the thing about the Wii U ports. It's like every port to me is, has a nuanced thing. It uh, has a value or not, depending on what you, what your tastes are, and if you've actually had the game before on Wii U, if you've had a Wii U, things like that. There's nothing inherently wrong with ports. I feel like maybe sometimes if you feel like there's nothing out there, some people, they feel like there's nothing out there, they'll just succumb to the ports and maybe they'll just buy them because they're comfortable with them. It's no different than people wanting their virtual console and uh, maybe picking old games that they played before on SNES or NES or whatever. Uh, picking those games over uh, new indie games that have that kind of style, that have that kind of flavor that you remember from games in, of that era. And they're kind of, you know, uh, they're kind of, you know, spiritual successors to games you might have played that you loved on the Super Nintendo or, or NES. E very easy to go for comfort and buy what you know. Uh, being ports from Wii U, um, but I'm saying try some other things out if you haven't. That's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to highlight some games that um, I have on Switch that I love and I think you should check out. So first game I have here is Cinemora EX. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, if it's not, that's how I pronounce it because I just like how it sounds. Cinemora. A side-scrolling space shooter, beautiful art design, uh, nice uh, story. Uh, yeah, space shooter with story, a relevant story that's deep and mature. And uh, this is just a really good game from THQ Nordic, uh, you know, like a Gradius style, the side kind of going, going from left to right. And uh, you should definitely check it out if you're a fan of that genre. Needs no introduction, Skyrim. I believe uh, if you've never played an Elder Scrolls game, Skyrim is not a bad place to start. It's one of my favorites next to Morrowind, Elder Scrolls 3. This is a fantastic game, uh, excellent port of this game. It's just great to have this game portably. If you like action RPGs, this is like a game that should be up your alley. You know, you can get hundreds of hours out of this thing, depending on how deep you dive into it. Very good game, Skyrim from uh, Bethesda. Also another game needs no introduction, Doom. Obviously there's some visual downgrades. There's a little bit more blurriness. This feels like Doom very fast. Even though it's only 30 frames per second, it feels really fast. It's just fantastic. The Doom, I mean the game itself is already great and it's a really good port uh, from Bethesda. And Panic Button, uh, which you'll see <laughs> more of I'm sure. And uh, speaking of Panic Button, we have Wolfenstein 2. Again, if you haven't bought this game already, uh, obviously, it's a lot cheaper on the other consoles, um, but as a, a Switch owner and a Nintendo fan, I'm going to be playing my Switch more, um, and I actually waited on this game because um, I knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming to Switch at some point, so I held off on buying the other version. I'm actually going to buy uh, either, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it on uh, either PC or Xbox One. Also, to show more support, because this is a, another excellent port, awesome storyline, just really good game, really good port. Again, uh, Panic Button did a great job on this game as well. Runner 3, uh, Runner 2 was also on uh, Wii U, which is an awesome game. Uh, solidified me being as a, a fan of this series. Awesome game. You got to be into puzzle platform, not puzzle platformers, but you got to be into like rhythm based kind of action platformers that you die a lot because you will die a lot in this game. But that's what this game is about. It's about trial and error, learning the levels through dying a lot. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. It's, it's never overly frustrating. You get frustrated once in a while, but it's just a really fun game. Easily the best looking runner game out there. Not just because it's on a uh, you know a more powerful platform, but because they changed up the art style quite a bit in this version, and it looks fantastic. Highly recommend this game if you're um, into the series, especially. But if you're uh, a platformer fan, definitely get this game. Next up, we have Yonder: The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Um, I don't remember where this game came on my radar. I think I was probably on YouTube and saw a video of it and thought, man, it's beautiful. It, the game visually looks pretty cool. And uh, that's where I got drawn in. I mean, it, it just this is a game that's visually up my alley. Um, I like this style of game. Um, and uh, it's very awesome. It's 
kind of hard to explain in a way where it's, it's kind of a breath of the wild actually there's a scene right when you run out into the field that is pulled right out of breath of the wild <laughs> it is as a, a blatant ripoff you know exploration type of game there's no combat um that might turn everybody off well, not everybody but that might turn a lot of people off that there's no combat in the game but you really don't miss it in this game it's, this game is more about exploring crafting um and just you know kind of um figuring out the story and just like um just world building and been just like expanding the world of this game um i've heard it's about 10 hours um, on like a basic run through and maybe uh, 13 to 15 if you really like unlock everything and want to do everything in it it's a really good beautiful game and it's i love it it's fun it's awesome and you, know, you have you can build farm i mean it's great you just got to check it out um it, it has it melds a lot of genres together like uh um, i think that a lot of people will enjoy check it out and then poi this game is a straight up love layer to super mario 64 slash elements of sunshine i mean straight up like move set straight up mario's move set from 64 uh, with a little bit of sunshine mixed in double jump there's wall jump i mean the best thing about it is the controls are spot on they're probably better than they were in super mario 64 really good controls really fun if you like platforming jumping around collecting stuff this is a game to get. You have to buy this game. You can play as both characters. You can swap at any time. Not in the level, I don't think, but before you start a level, I think you can swap between these two explorers. And I mean, it's straight up like when you collect these little medals or whatever, it's straight up like collecting a star in Super Mario 64. This game makes no qualms about <laughs> what it's uh, referencing. So you should definitely check it out if you're a fan. If that gets you excited, Mario 64 and Sunshine definitely check this game out and obviously i mean another game that needs no introduction mario plus rabbits kingdom battle um i think if you're on the fence about this game you're probably a, you know, if you're a nintendo fan and you're like this isn't a mario game and i don't like rabbits throw all that out the window this game is awesome it's fun as hell you know maybe if you don't like turn-based type of stuff it's not really turn-based i mean there's action involved I mean, it's turn where you take a turn but then the other guys you know the enemy also takes a turn you go back to you but it's so fun if you're a fan of XCOM you should definitely play this it's awesome like you know, upgr the upgrading in it the it, it's funny like I was really surprised at how funny it is it's visually beautiful and then they just added the whole Donkey Kong adventure mode uh, download which is DLC I should say which looks awesome I haven't gotten it yet but I will for sure I'm thinking about trading this in and getting that the new cart that has it already i believe it's on the card itself and getting that whole donkey kong thing that's what i'm thinking about doing so really good game you should definitely check it out if you haven't bought this and you're looking for something to play this is a great game you can get you know on the on the low end 30 hours out of and on the high end you know probably over 50. so this is a game i just picked up it's a, a remastered version of a classic flashback um, I played this on Super Nintendo back in the day. It was so confusing and <laughs> back then because it didn't have all the stuff um, this remaster has. It helps you out a little bit. I remember just thinking this is, this game was just like ahead of its time, way ahead of its time. It was just like very different. The animation in it was like Dragon's Lair type of animation, uh, not but not just for like a cutscene thing, but like all the way through the game. And it, it just has this really cool, deep story. It's very cyberpunkish in many ways it's a it's a side-scrolling kind of puzzle platformer we have to figure out how to get past certain obstacles and certain enemies and stuff think of maybe like odd world or something uh, it has elements of that well this came out before odd world i'm sure odd world took some things from that and it's a really nice remaster it comes with an instruction booklet um a nice uh, collector's card super nintendo styled uh steel book open it the wrong way here's the collector's card in there and the weird thing is that the whatever for whatever reason the the uh, instruction book doesn't fit in this or this it's too big it, it came in a box it came in a special edition box and also comes with a soundtrack i forgot to say that you download uh using a code so very cool nice little package there definitely pick up battle chasers night war um you know, this is, I haven't played a whole lot of this, but I love the art style in this game. I love the battle system so far. Um, I just, I ended up buying way too many games at once and haven't been able to get to all of them, but this is definitely a game I'm gonna dig into over the summer. So uh, if you're into, like I said, RPGs, uh, another THQ Nordic game, uh, very good, 
Um, I've seen nothing but good reviews for it. Very cool to have this version of the game for my Switch. Speaking of RPGs, this is another action RPG. Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Love this game. The only thing I hate is that, again, I bought too many games at once and I'm neglecting games I need to beat like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2. And speaking of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, this game feels like a Xenoblade Chronicles game uh, stylistically. Uh, you know, because you have big monsters in the field that you take on. But this is an action RPG, so it's not um, the automatic kind of fighting system that you get from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is like you press a button and you hit, you know, it's, uh, it's very much like a Zelda in that uh, aspect. Visually, it feels like it's like I said, it feels like a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 kind of game. It's very anime, but this game is pretty cool, man. You get like a party uh, of I think up to four, maybe five. I'm not sure. Go, you go around and you figure out how to get off this island. You've been shipwrecked. I'm loving it. I love this game and I need to get back to it. But like I said, I got to finish some other stuff first. But you should definitely pick this up. If any of that sounded, that could be fun to you. So Zelda meets like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And this game is actually quote unquote a port. But when it comes to indie games, to me they're not ports. It's just like, oh, that's this system's version. This also came out on Wii U, uh, but it's on everything. It's on all the systems as far as I remember. I don't think there's a physical version on Wii U. They were going to do one, but they thought better of that. <laughs> it would probably have been a bit a waste at that time because it was supposed to come out the same time as the Switch version, but I think they just backed away from that. They didn't want to spend the money in it, which made sense. And this also comes with a nice package. I don't have it all right now, but I believe there is a soundtrack for this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's some cool little stuff for this too. And this is an awesome Metroid stylized game, Metroid type of game. This is definitely influenced by Metroid. And this is a game I need to finish. I'm getting close. Um, I just have to get back to it. It's awesome. You should definitely check it out. So, yep, Axiom Verge. Like I said, um, there are things to play. And I would advise you, if you definitely already have the Wii U game, stay away from the ports and buy this new stuff. Buy the stuff that's new to you, that's new to the Switch. I think that's the better way to go. Well, anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.